What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about productivity and in particular an application that has taken me from being extremely unorganized and chaotic to being the most productive person that I could ever be. Today I want to talk to you about Notion, a note-taking application that is so much more than just taking notes. I've been using Notion for about three years now and it has really, really changed my life around. I have everything planned from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. And hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will be able to become much more productive yourselves. Now, let me tell you about productivity in general. Productivity is extremely important when you are an engineer and web developer, because in our job and in our hobby or whatever you might call it, we require a lot of time to be able to be really good at something. We need time to research, we need time to learn, we need time to create projects and practice. Now all of that time is very necessary and we don't have much of it in a 24-hour day, taking away the fact that we sleep for about eight hours a night. So it really cuts the time short. Now productivity is based on organization and the more organized you are, the more productive you end up being and therefore the more time you get for yourself to really focus on your education, on your learning and becoming a fantastic engineer and in this case a web developer. Now I started using Notion to really plan simple tasks. Now bear in mind at this point I have a 9 to 5 job for Cisco. I create YouTube videos on the side, uh, I need to plan them, I need to produce them, I need to edit them. Now take into the account that I also have meetings at work, uh, you know, I also have other chores like my daily life chores that I need to complete, uh, I have courses that I'm filming and producing, uh, I have businesses that I'm running, so I need to keep all of those things in one place and I need to be organized. Now I used to be a person that loved writing things on paper and sticking post-it notes on my wall, but because I was so full of ideas and I had so many uh, creative thoughts and I wanted to execute so many projects and learn so many things, it very quickly started to become super, super disorganized and I just wouldn't be able to track my notes, I wouldn't be able to remember the things I have to do and I would just miss out on things and I would miss out on time and miss out on uh, learning and just uh, not do the things that I want throughout the day, which was very, very unproductive. Now with Notion, I was able to plan everything. I was able to organize my life and keep track of everything within Notion that's just uh, made everything so much simpler for me. Now Notion is tailored for anyone in the world, but it is also tailored for engineers like us. And actually, as engineers, we can do much more with Notion than the normal person who is just creating things and uh, using all the amazing tools that Notion offers to write and organize their day. Now, we as developers, not only we can create notes where they have beautiful code blocks for every single language that you can use, which I will show you later because we're going to set up a very basic page so I can teach you how to use Notion, but also they have an API that you can integrate with and they also have an API where you can connect directly to GitHub and track issues for a specific project directly within Notion and it automatically updates everything without Notion. So when you're working with a whole team, everyone keeps track of everything and the organization is absolutely fantastic. I think right now what we should do is we should just dive into Notion. I'll show you how to use it and then we're going to talk about some of the inbuilt templates that Notion also has uh, which are super useful and a very easy way to really quickly get started with Notion and start really organizing your life to become a better web developer. So here in front of us, we have a basic Notion page and Notion has a hierarchy where you can create new pages and within those pages, you can create blocks. Now there is tens of possibilities of the different blocks that you can add, which can really, really boost your productivity. So what we're going to do is I'll show you some really basic stuff that I use that I think are great uh, for planning your projects, uh, keeping track of code and so on. And then we'll look at some really fun templates. So here we have a page and inside this page, we can give it a title. So I'm going to call it web development because that's the interest 
uh, that we are focusing on. Now, obviously, Notion is super minimalistic, but it's also fun. And for everything, you can add cool emojis. Now, this randomly picked swimsuit, that's the ladies one. We don't want that. And because it's coming up to Halloween, uh, and also it's web development, I'm going to <laughs> add a web as the page icon. Now, of course, we want to spice things up even more and I want to add a cover photo. Now, I'm guessing uh, it will automatically, oh, add a really ugly cover photo that I don't like. So you can change the cover photo. You can pick from the ones that they already offer or you can go to Unsplash and find one that you really love. Now, I'm going to type in coding and I'm going to select this one. I think this one looks really nice and really creates a better theme. Let's create notes on web development. I think that's the first thing that everyone is going to do. Now with note taking, you can really spice things up. Now let's say that within development, we're going to be learning front end and we're going to be learning back end. But currently these are just pieces of text and I want to turn them into something else. So I'm going to turn front end by clicking on the dots and clicking turn into a page. And I'm going to add a fancy icon, uh, coding, coding, let's just add this lady right here that's on the computer. And then for backend, let's uh, turn it into a page as well. And let's, uh, oh, there we go, perfect. Let's include a wrench, a wrench because it's the backend. Now, what I can do is these instantly become clickable and they direct me to a new page. If I click down, what you can see that Notion says is type slash for commands. And slash is a very beautiful thing that Notion has came up with. Now, if I click slash, it comes up with all the building blocks of a page that you can add. It has text, page, to-do lists, headings, bullet points, dividers, mentioning of a person, emojis, tables, boards, calendars, uh, images, bookmarks, files. You can have code snippets. You can connect to Google Drive. You can tweet stuff. You can connect to Figma, which is absolutely fantastic if you love UI. You can connect to Sketch. You can upload PDFs, so on and so forth. You can embed a code pen, which I think is also fantastic, and many, many more that you can add here. So uh, you should really explore and check it out. Uh, it really has a lot of cool things. But in this case, I want to know my navigation. And one thing that they offer is something called breadcrumb. Now, breadcrumb allows you to track where you are, like you have here at the top, but within a specific directory or a specific page in this case, you're able to track where you are. Now, in front end, let's say I want to learn about React and I want to turn this into a page as well. And I'll add uh, traffic lights because we are reacting to some traffic lights. Yeah, I know it's a, <laughs> it's a silly, it's a silly thing, but it kind of makes sense. And then I click on React, and below React, I can also add a breadcrumb. So then I can basically navigate with this breadcrumb panel to the different pages if I so wish. Now let's imagine that within React we want to learn how to uh, filter an array. So here I can type a heading one. And then we can say filtering an array in JavaScript, right? And uh, let's just uh, copy this and paste it into Google and find the Stack Overflow page. And as you can see, I've <laughs> previously accessed it, so clearly I forgot how to filter an array. And uh, there you go, there's an answer right here. We can just copy it and paste it right into here, but we don't want to paste it just as text. So we can type a slash and we can type code and create a code block. And then obviously it automatically recognized that we're using JavaScript, but if you don't want to use JavaScript, you have hundreds of other languages that you can implement and really, you know, create something beautiful. Now, of course, we have things like code pen as well, where you can embed a code pen and you paste the link and it shows you a beautiful code pen. We're not going to do that right now, but the opportunity is there. Let's go back to web development and assume that we're working on a project. So I'm going to pick a heading one and we're going to go on projects. Now here, what we're going to create is a table. Now what Notion has is things called databases as they call it. And it's basically a code blocks and structures that allow you to collect information, like a database, like MySQL, like uh, Postgre, and so on and so forth. Now, of course, here we have a table and I'm going to, uh, because it's under projects, I'm going to uh, call this table workload. So the things that we have to complete. Now I'm going to rename this column and I'm going to uh, say uh, a to-do, so what I have to complete. And let's mention some projects. Let's mention that I want to create a 
a landing page. Let's say that I want to connect uh, to a database and then I want to uh, fetch data from the database. Now, let's assume that I have already created a landing page. We can give this a tag and we can say complete. Now, of course, Notion provides you with a base color, but you can change the color of the tag. And I think green suits complete very well. Now, let's say connection to the database is in progress and uh, I don't want red, so I'm going to change the color to orange for in progress. And then let's say that fetching data from the database is still upcoming. So it's still something that we need to do. Now, of course, let's change upcoming to red, saying that it's not done. Now we can also assume that for all of these to-dos, we have a deadline. We have a deadline that we want to adhere to. So we can create a new table, call it a due date, and select the property type from text to a date. And now automatically when we click into a column cell, it will pop up with a calendar and we can say that creating a landing page was due last week and we've already completed it. We can say that connecting to a database uh, is in progress. So let's say it's due today. And let's say that fetching data from the database uh, is due in about two days and we've got two days to do that. Now, of course, this data is in a table. So it's visual and it's representative, but in a lot of workplaces where engineering is involved, they tend to use a Kanban board, which is basically columns divided into blocks that you can drag if you have finished them or not, and they're based on a certain tag in this case. Now, I can change this database in Notion to a different view, and all I need to do is just click Add a view, and I'll click Board, and I'll click Create and it automatically created this Kanban board for me. Now here we can rearrange them and let's say that uh, my completed ones will be at the end and my upcoming will be at the beginning and in progress in the middle. Let's assume that we connected to a database. We can just move this under the complete. So if we now change back to the default view, which was the table, we can see that both of them are complete. Now, what if we want to have a calendar view and we want to view this as a calendar? Well, no problem. You can just add a new view. You can create a calendar and then click create. And you have a visual, beautiful representation of a calendar where it shows you that, yes, you've created this and it was last week. Today is today's date and you still have something outstanding and you still some have a task that is to do in the future. This is something that is really useful and uh, it really allows you to kind of structure your workflow and do other things that are necessary. Now that you understand a basic structure of a page, you understand different blocks and you'll be able to explore them on your own, let's talk about templates. So in this case, let's create a new workspace. Notion offers a lot of templates. And uh, they're all very, very beautiful and they're all made very, very well, very thought out. And all you need to do is just pick a template that you love and you can directly use it for your needs and change everything to suit you and to suit the way you want to structure things. Now, in this case, my favorite uh, templates fall under the personal category. Now, in this case here, we already have goals that are showing up and here you can use a Kanban board to uh, keep track of all the goals that you have for a specific day, for a specific week, however you wanna do it. You have beautiful boxes with tags and you know emojis and it's keeping things fun. And it's also really, really minimalistic. Another one that I really, really love from the templates is the resume template. Now, I absolutely love this template. Here, you can really not only plan what you want to put on your resume, and if you need a resume, I have a beautiful template that I sell at shop.developerfiller.com, so make sure you check it out. Anyway, here, this gives you a really nice structure of the things that you should include on your resume and, uh, you know, skills, languages, uh, education. So all of the basics that are really actually the most important, uh, what you can put on your resume. The other one that I really love from the templates is keeping track of your job applications. Here it gives you a place to upload your resume. Here it gives you a place to upload your cover letter. It gives you a place to paste in a link to your personal portfolios, uh, to your personal website and so on and so forth. And here it gives you a database, which is basically a table of the place where you have applied, the position you've applied for, the current status, the deadline of the tasks that they might have given you, uh, the description of the job and certain comments that you may want to add. It gives you a place for the drafts. So really these uh, templates are very well designed as you can see. Uh, you can have other things like uh, reading list. 
For example, a list of the things that you have read or the articles you have written. You can keep scores of uh, the uh, opinions of others, maybe of the articles that you have written on Medium. You can create a weekly agenda where you can plan out your whole week from Monday to Friday and have a to-do for each day that if you complete, you can just tick off like so. And, uh, you know, you can have a, an embed a shopping list, which is a whole page with another to-dos of things that you can tick off. So it really, really, really is amazing for organization. And the more organized you are, the more time you'll get during the day and the more time you'll be able to dedicate to learning web dev, to creating projects, to working on your private stuff and really enhance your self-development because this is what it's all about. If you're interested in using Notion, please use the link in the description to sign up to Notion. Notion is free. You'll be able to use it for all your needs. Now, of course, it does have a limit to the amount of pages you may create, uh, but if you're just starting out and you wanna play around with it, the free plan is more than enough. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.